G'day everybody, Blue here. Welcome back to my time at Sandrock. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, at the tail end of the previous episode, we built Cheese Magnum Opus, the Gungam. Uh, so I'm guessing we should be able to ride on this thing if it was ours. But uh, anyway, this is one that we're pretty much going to be handing over to either Chi or Heidi. Uh, my bad, there was actually one piece that we didn't fit onto the Gungam. It looked complete to me, but uh, yes, we needed that power core. So let's pick this up and let's actually deliver it. Uh, and hopefully that means we can get the bridge construction completed. So uh, we're gonna have to deliver it to Heidi all the way out there near the bridge. I'm just trying to think of whether or not taking the Yakmal might actually uh, speed up the process here, but it doesn't look like there's a Yakmal station around there, so it's a bit of a shame. Anyway, let's head on over. Uh, we are about to pass the uh, Commerce Guild here, so we may as well pick up another commission. We've done one commission already. That commission that we completed uh, just in the previous episode was actually quite painful to do. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's see if we can complete some easier ones. These glass lenses for Chi, 766, uh, bloodstone saws, soup pots. We have seen these soup pots. I can't remember if they're from the furnace or from the workbench. Yeah, okay, it's from the civil furnace. Uh, and I guess we probably need clay for this. Um, I mean, look, let's take something that'll pay a decent amount. So let's do these glass lenses. Cool. Uh, and we'll do that a little bit later. Now, aside from, you know, doing work for Cheese Gungam, we were frantically trying to complete, uh, I guess, you know, commissions. Yes, there was that difficult commission uh, with the rivets that we had to do. Uh, but we're also trying to complete another mission, uh, the Cable Guys request or mission. And uh, that's been a really big challenge because we still haven't learnt how to make those iron wires. Uh, and I do believe that the solution to that is actually to progress. Uh, the storyline. So hopefully this will do the trick. So this is it. The definitely not a Gunga mobile suit. While you were working, I factored this thing into my construction plan, and with it, we'll be able to finish what's left of the bridge base in just two days. Nice. And since that's the case, I'll send word to Atara and have them send us a bridge inspector on the double. We'll have water trains back in Sandrock in no time flat. Cool. So the town is saved. That she really has an amazing mind. Though, you'll never hear me say it to him. If his head got any more full of hot air, I think he might just float away. And we need him here, don't we? Well, thanks again for all your efforts. I'll show Chi your work. I think he'll be very impressed with how faithful you've been to his design. Be ready to install those load bearing trusses you built before. Very good. All right, so uh, let's just take a look at our mission list once more. So in trusses, we trust, wait for bridge base completion. Cool. And so these trusses, I guess the reason why we've got these trusses uh, in our inventory currently is to maybe continue some of the work once they've done uh, the work on the bridge base. So interesting. Anyway, uh, two days we have to complete other things. So we've got a couple more Sandrock commissions. So let's try and focus on getting these switchboards uh, completed. Uh, there's also the matter of going back into the breach to look for some of this stuff for Grace. Uh, and I'm definitely interested in doing that. So I'm just not entirely sure what I should 
focus on first. Perhaps maybe we'll go back to the workshop and we'll just make sure that we've got, you know, all sorts of machines running and fuel, uh, you know, put into every single one of them. And then I think maybe we'll go into the breach. We'll have a bit of a fight with all of the dangerous robots in there. Uh, what is this place? Lumi's Loafers, closed indefinitely. Okay. Eska's Poetry Society, closed indefinitely as well. Huh. Maybe it's because the, the town has sort of been going not so great recently, that people have just moved out of Sandrock, which is a bit of a shame. Hopefully we can turn things around. But uh, anyway, let's come back here. Let's uh, deal with all of our machines before we leave. So civil recycler, let's get you to handle even more iron scrap because obviously we'll need all of that iron. Uh, let's just make sure we've got fuel in there. Chuck fuel in there as well. Let's keep going with the stones. Uh, we're sort of running a little bit lower on the stones right now as we've kept uh, grinding those stones up into other stuff or refining them into other stuff. Uh, we don't exactly have any more mechanical scrap, do we? Let's get rid of that. Let's actually pump in stone scraps because I think um, we'll probably be in the breach for quite a while. Um, yeah, and these things will go for quite a bit, so I'm not too fussed with them. Uh, let's collect all of this stuff. And do I want to do anything with the furnaces? Um, so I could continue making steel bars here, but uh, graphite is still a little bit harder to come by. Maybe I'll just do other stuff. Soup pots. Yeah, we could do soup pots if we wanted to. How do we get some more bronze going? And I realize this is probably going to use up a lot of the ores that we've just extracted, but... You know, for the sake of just getting these things to keep running and do stuff while we're away, why not? Uh, let's check on the water supply. We will definitely add some more. Uh, I totally missed my opportunity to go and uh, collect more water from Burgess. I should have done that. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? Wheat. And probably do want to replant stuff. Um, I'm just not totally sure what I can plant now. I mean, I don't really have a lot of seeds. Maybe I need to load up on seeds as well. Let's go with these sand leaks. And uh, at the very least, that should, you know, keep the soil busy for a little bit. Uh, we also need to load up on a little bit more straw. Oh, and there's the matter of Burgess's plants as well. Keep forgetting about that. Um, I suppose I'll go with the sand leeks first, and then uh, we'll continue growing Burgess's stuff later. Uh, because we kind of need to buy more seeds for Burgess's project. And uh, yes, he gave us some of the seeds, but not enough for what his project entails, so uh, definitely going to have to source our own seeds. So we'll do that. Um, okay, so I think we're done there. Let's just chuck the seeds back. Straws as well. And these manganese steel bars. Don't exactly need to carry that with us. I mean, we don't need to carry a lot of this stuff with us, to be fair. Um, 
relic piece. So I can go there. Uh, and a whole bunch of stuff that I kind of want to sell. Alright, uh, let's get going. I think what I'll do is I'll quickly go to the museum because I keep talking about the museum. Uh, I think I mentioned the museum a few times in the previous episode, but then realized <laughs> after I finished playing and started editing the video that uh, we never did go to the museum. So uh, here's us trying to fix that. I don't even know if we can assemble stuff, but I'm just having a look at what's available, really. So, Relic Restoration. We can do the Art Museum model. A camera, which we've never seen before. Okay, we can actually do a golden candlestick. And I think that's it. So... Yeah, so we've seen this before, so that's why I was like, yeah, despite us being able to, you know, uh, put it in the exhibit uh, and assemble more, you know, I don't really think it's really necessary. Let's put that there and put a, uh, a teddy over there as well. Why not? I'm just keen on just removing stuff at this point since things are clogging up our inventory all right satisfied with that is there anything else we can do here so museum rewards okay are these rewards just based on how many exhibits we've got potentially desert defender waste bag uh, a bag meant to be worn around the waist, despite its convenience. Bags like this were deeply unpopular in the old world. It stands to reason, though, that they're due for a comeback any time now. Floral casual wrist uh, band. Um... Okay. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to give us a benefit, though, because we've got, like, gloves and stuff. Let's actually receive this thing here, and uh, let's actually check that out. So... Oh right, it replaces other stuff. Alright, let's take a look at our character sheet here, so... It is actually viewable as well, that's kind of cool. So, Desert Defender Waste Bag. Plus 6 defense points, it is a level 10 item. Um, this is a level 10 item as well, but this gives us 11 to 12 attack. Uh, I'll, I think I'll take the attacks more than I'll take the, uh, the other thing there, which was, I think, defense points. Um, doesn't look like you can visually, oh, actually, no, it is there. It definitely looks like some kind of a... Oh yeah, I was going to say Jade. It is actually Jade. <laughs> let's go. Alright, so let's actually go into the... Oh, I could have taken the Yakmal Station. Maybe I'll, I'll do that right now. Let's take the Yakmal Station back to this side. And yeah, we should go into the breach. Again, trying to find Grace's stuff. Don't know exactly where to find it. If any of you guys know how that's done, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, some of the things look like posters, so maybe I need to pay attention to like walls and stuff a little bit more. Uh, because so far I've just been focusing on killing enemies and, uh, you know, trying to make my way through all of these levels as quick as I can because uh, you know, that's how you get the, the S rank. But yeah, last time we tried the third layer, uh, or the lower level, um, we didn't really get to the S point, did we? Or, sorry, S rank, rather. So yeah, let's try this again, and let's see if we can get to S at this point, 
And, uh, I mean, if we happen to come across Grace's stuff, it's even better. Alright, let's do this. I think killing enemies also contributes to your rank as well, right? So, um, I definitely don't want to rush through. Um, it's definitely better if we, you know, fight everything, try and kill as many of these enemies as possible. Uh, I'm actually being a little bit sloppy here with my uh, fighting. I don't know if that really matters. Because we've got a lot of HP. Perhaps, maybe... Uh, you know, during these early layers, it might actually be a little bit more important. To actually... You know, avoid attacks and stuff, because... Uh, We'll eventually have to fight some bosses. Um, I'm just backtracking because I wasn't really paying attention to whether or not there's any uh, like loot or treasure boxes. Good. Slightly electrified there. Alright, um, maybe up here. Let's just open this thing. I'm not going to break it down though, because I don't think materials are really worthwhile. Uh, we can still find those types of, uh, I think they're like broken machines or broken components or something like that. Uh, we can definitely find those even in the normal ruins, so I don't really need them. Okay, that was the last enemy. Do we have any stuff? Uh, yes we do. Actually, the timer stops, doesn't it, once you fight all of the enemies. So that's another good excuse to be fighting as many of the enemies as possible. looking at our HP as well, but we are actually quite low.
Not sure if the game can uh, really explain why there's a wild Alpha Yaknel down here. Seems a little bit weird. Uh, see if we can fight these guys from afar. Oh, one more enemy. I'm not entirely sure where. That's alright, let's go. Um, yeah, I don't know if you have to perfectly find all of the enemies. Uh, let's actually get five of these. And I do want to use them, actually, because we are running quite low. I don't know if it matters if you use items and stuff. Okay, getting electrified probably doesn't help. doesn't open. Maybe we go through the other side. I think last time we also missed one of the enemies. I just didn't know where exactly these enemies spawn. But then you're also against the timer as well. Oh, God. Uh, I guess we just need to jump down here. That's fine. Very nice. Uh, yeah, questionable as to whether or not doors open. Uh, looks like we did manage to get rank S this time around, so there you go, guys. Let's exit. Let's grab all of those points. And we got an engine, a condenser, another techno lamp. Uh, can we sell, like, museum items 
because if we can, that'd be great. <laughs> and yet again, I didn't find uh, anything that uh, would complete our mission with Grace. So, uh, considering how difficult this is, I might actually spend time off camera trying to work out how to find all these things for Grace. Yeah, not a single one. So, um, Grace needs to find various relics for her archaeological research, help her co collect the things she needs from the breach. Some of what she's looking for is harder to find than others. It may take a few visits to get everything. Okay. So it's just basically saying we have to continue to come back here every now and then. And does it even matter, you know, if we visit straight away? I guess maybe we don't want to do that right now because it is late and I think if we visited now uh, we'd probably be well past bedtime. So yeah, instead I think I'm gonna maybe hit a few things, try to tire ourselves out a little bit. I think maybe you fell a salvage is the right answer here. We'll try and break down the bus and we'll have a sleep. That counts as one day, I would assume, uh, for Heidi's work. So then we'll be able to, you know, hopefully go through one more day and then we might be able to complete that long-standing long uh, main mission. Um, that's our sorting machine doing its thing. It's very cool. Um, I'm not entirely sure if we would need a sorting machine at our own place. I think I mentioned that before. Or uh, perhaps maybe it's just simply a thing that we would construct for various people in town. And I'm also guessing that uh, the Gungam is probably something that we could craft again and give to whoever needs it for commissions and the like. Just keeping an eye out on the time, making sure that we have enough time to get into bed. Okay, I think that's the last thing. Let's make a run for it. Okay, so I think what we should focus on right this moment is going to be the two commissions. So there I was, outnumbered, a million to one. Whoa, did you just see that? He's really close to the tracks. Yeah, no kid. We should probably... <gasps> <gasps> Train's coming. Nice one, Builder. I was, uh, just about to do that. What's going on? Whatever is, I was feeling sleepy when I got off the train last night, and... <laughs> Who are you again? Uh, why were you sleeping on the tracks? Well, we know he's mint. Uh, did we just also read about his shop that was permanently closed, potentially? Anyway, why were you sleeping on the tracks, mate? Well, I don't know how to answer that one. Is it better or worse if I mention this stuff happens from time to time? In any case, thanks for saving me. Uh, is he trying to say that he might be homeless? I meant, I was sent here by the Taran government to inspect a railway bridge. Oh, yes, okay, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Where can I find City Hall? I'm supposed to talk with Mayor Trudy. Hold your horses, pal. You're not getting off that easy. I don't care if you're the deacon of Medi. Here in Sandrock, everybody subscribes to a little tenant called responsibility. What if we hadn't showed up? You'd be in the hospital right now, at best. Yeah, I don't think he'd be in the hospital right now. 
Next time you feel like taking a nap, check your surroundings. Ask yourself questions like, am I near any heavy machinery? Am I in a den of monsters? Do I smell gas? This line of thinking may save your life one day, because we're not always going to be there. You got it? Er, I'm sorry, sir. I'll try to be more careful from now on. Yeah, you do that. All's well that ends well, I guess. Uh, hey, Builder, me and Unsure got a patrol. Can you do me a solid and take the inspector here to City Hall? I'd feel a lot better if you went along, considering the circumstances. Thanks. Unsure, let's ride. Sorry for the trouble. Please, lead the way. All right, I fully wasn't expecting <laughs> saving someone's life this morning. Uh, and I definitely wasn't expecting having to do like a quick time event as well. Lucky I saw that and reacted quick enough. Uh, we almost failed though. Yeah, I guess with any of the cutscenes, I should really just be ready constantly. All right, let's take this mint guy to the city hall, see what happens next. Maybe they're related. Well, hello. It seems the two of y'all are familiar. Indubitably, this is Sleepy at, uh, Mint. We grew up together. Mint, you're here on behalf of the Ataran government, I presume? Yeah, that's right. I've been working as an engineer around the free cities. They've sent me here to make sure your bridge is good to go. Nice to meet you, Mayor Trudy. I'm Mint. Pleased to make your acquaintance as well, Mr. Mint. I'm afraid Mayor Trudy is out at the moment. I'm Minister Matilda. I'll be taking over for her until she gets back. Ah, yes. We haven't exactly met this Mayor Trudy. I hadn't expected your arrival so soon, Mint. We may need to continue this discussion a bit later. I must say, though, what a coincidence! The director's childhood companion waltzing in to inspect the bridge he toiled so hard on. And we here at Sandrock do appreciate the good doctor's work, don't we? Actually, I wasn't finished talking about my robot, but never mind that. Speaking of inspection... Sleepyhead, did you bring your inspection equipment? Ah, I didn't. I knew it. Never change meant. Do you know what you need? Yeah, I need a magneto-inductive inspector to test the stress. And I'm guessing we're the ones who are going to have to build it for you. All right, I've got it. Can you help? I'll draw up a diagram for Mint's missing equipment and send it to you. Please check your mailbox tomorrow and build it for us as soon as possible. Okay, sweet. Thanks. Well, if you're not ready for me, Minister, I could maybe use a rest. It's been over 10 minutes since my last nap. So, where is the local hotel here? Hotel? Nonsense! You'll be staying with me. I am certain you will find my research center far more hospitable than that old milk shack. Well, okay. Ah, well, let's not get in the way of these two peas in a pod. Looks like they have a lot of catching up to do. So long! Okay, so another main mission it seems. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so yeah, this one is still going in Trust As We Trust, uh, but I feel like this mint condition is also, uh, I guess a sub requirement if we're to complete in Trust As We Trust. Uh, all right, so we gotta wait for the diagram tomorrow. That's okay. Gives us time to focus on these two commissions that we've already picked up. So let's go ahead and go back. We'll check out what's going on at the workshop. Hopefully we've got enough stuff to actually complete the switchboards because uh, we've had that in our list of to-dos since I think yesterday or the day before. Definitely want to get it completed. We do have quite a lot of time for it though. Something in the mail. Ah, yes. All right, so our forging machine is ready. 
Perhaps maybe we could put a forging machine down as well, but I mean, since that's done, it's probably a good idea for us to go back to Cheese Place, get some more research going. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know if I should be spending the eight gold every time to get to Cheese Place. Um, I mean, we'd still have to run a little bit to get to Cheese Place from the bus stop, so maybe it's not all worth it. Anyway, let's use the research machine here and let's decide on what to get next. Maybe we'll go with this thing, whatever this is. Primary jewelry processing machine. In four days for 12 discs. Sure. Sounds good. All right, and you know what? Since we're here out and about, do we want to also maybe go to Zeke's place? Maybe we can just buy those seeds right now. Because I don't want to be sort of caught off guard uh, with no seeds when we need to grow stuff for... What's his name? Burgess. Alright, so before we actually start buying stuff, let's look at what's required for Operation Flower Gate. So the Rhino Horn Cactus and the Mountain Rose. I know we've got a few growing, but we probably don't have enough seeds for the rest. So let's just make sure we buy these two. Mountain Rose, Rhino Horn Cactus. Cool. And we're still around a 10,000 goal mark as well, which is pretty good. Uh, we've got all this other stuff that requires discs as well. Uh, and I'm thinking, is it worth buying? We'll get some straw. And... I'll buy more wheat seeds. And... I mean, we haven't really played around with the pomado before. Um, and these require discs. So we can buy three for six discs. I will buy it right now, and I'm sure we'll get around to planting it at some point. Right, let's ride back. Righto, switchboards. That's the priority right now. Okay, all of our machines have kind of stopped doing their thing. That's all right, let's maybe just pick up all of the things. Uh, we'll decide what to process after we've done all of our crafting. sort everything and I'll also just put the seeds in here. Very good. Ah, oh, I've definitely forgotten to sell stuff. Um, this would be a, a small exhibit in the museum if we wanted to drop it off there. We could. Uh, yeah, I would love to be able to sell stuff that's, you know, technically museum exhibits, like especially if we've got more than one, uh, there's no point in having them. Unless we want to just keep them for ourselves. That could be something that we do. So we've got our switchboards already. Let's take a look at the lenses. We need bronze pipes for those. Easy. Let's make those. And... Let's take a look at what else we can do. All 
Let's untag that because we're going to have to wait for the bronze pipes anyway. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's hand in this commission and I might see if I can have a chat with someone about stuff that they want us to do. So a fake friend, Cooper, wants uh, something apparently. Then there is something going on in front of the church dormitory. Um, and I keep forgetting, but there's a matter of going to see the doc about medicines every like Wednesday or something like that. Um, hmm. Or we can speak to Justice about this who's the dep uh, deputy quest. Speak to Heidi first and I'm hoping to be able to just buy some water on the way. Owen's not going to be very happy with us with no sweet potatoes in hand. There you go. Hmm. Thousand goals. Easy. Let's go back to the commission board and pick up another commission and yeah, maybe I'll have a chat with Cooper see what's up with him and from there we're gonna need to decide what to do next I reckon we could go into the breach again um, maybe we can just re-challenge the final stage um, where's Cooper maybe in his farm there he is Hey there, Builder. Let me bend your ear for a minute. I'd like to talk something about friendship with you. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, a friend in need is a friend in need. However, if all your friends jumped off a bridge, would you do it too? The answer here is clearly no. Yeah. That is, unless the bridge were not particularly high off the ground and additionally above water, in which case it would be not only safe, but in fact quite ble uh, pleasurable to jump off said bridge. <laughs> you said a minute. <laughs> I'll keep listening. Ergo, following your friends in this instance is not a demonstration of the woes of peer pressure, but in fact an example of uh, how to... Uh, how, how as to how community betterment can occur through a mutual choosing of actions. However, if you're looking at the question in this manner, you're perhaps disingenuously missing the philosophical motive of the question and its rhetorical intention. Hmm? And that is the examination of whether or not it is just and good to go, good to, as a general rule, take the road more traveled to do what has been done before and follow in the footsteps of traditionalism. My uh -huh. lord, all right. By using the metaphor of bridge jumping rhet uh, rhetorically, we imply that this is not the case, but where does this leave us? As sand rockers in a society founded on tradition? Mm -hmm. Are we obligated to lie about, aghast with our tongues tied, and then dragged helplessly off our metaphorical bridge of inestablished height, may I remind you, as our ancestors were? My lord, all right. Or rather, is it correct to scrutinize the bridge metaphor as being something of a straw man's argument? How can we claim that bridge jumping is an inherently foolish act when we, again, know nothing of the bridge itself? Yeah. These and many other issues perplex me, young one. Uh, they keep me up at night. You like building bridges, don't you, builder? Huh, well, look. Looks like I've done and got a little off topic again. You don't say. 
<laughs> the point I was trying to make is, uh, oh yeah, I need you to make a fake yakmal. A fake yakmal? You see, yakmals are herd animals, way I figure, if the yakmals think they might be leaving one of their brethren behind, well, shoot, they might think twice about breaking out of the ranch again. Mm -hmm. What do you say, partner? Can I count on you? You can count on me, Cooper. Yeah? Just what I like to hear. She can probably design you a diagram. After you're done, you can place them in my ranch. Hot dog. Maybe I can get Mabel to cook something up for you while you finish. Or when you finish. Alright. Sure. Okay, another rest. Uh, sorry, another request. Fake friend. Alright. So, gotta ask she for this diagram. And we may as well get that out of the way right now. Because maybe we can get the diagram tomorrow. So that's two diagrams from Chi tomorrow, possibly. I'm beginning to think it's a myth. You still looking for the Olympia? My ma also misses you. It's good to see you again. Okay. It's, <laughs> these conversations are not exactly in order. I'm beginning to think it's a myth. Yeah. Heidi showed me the mobile suit. It's, good to see you again. it's exactly as I imagined. I've come to find that I can consistently rely on you to deliver results. That will be all. Hmm? Cooper wants fake yakmals? For, the for what? No, I don't really want to know. Give me five data disks and I'll get started on this buffoonery. You still looking for the Olympia? Same. Well, I my yep, slightly. I've got the discs already, so... I'll base the fake yakmals on some of the old world entertainment devices that I've, I've run across around. before. Uh, you'll get the diagrams in the mail when I'm done. Sweet. Alright. Same. Well, hopefully we'll get it tomorrow, if not tomorrow, the next day, but uh, I'm not too fussed for now. Uh, right now, I think I'm more interested in trying to find Heidi's stuff, so why don't we go back into the breach once more? I know we've done a bit of fighting already, but why not? We can do some more. Uh, might be a good idea to just check on our machines and see if the pipes are done, because if the pipes are done, we should be able to get the lenses completed as well, right? Okay, they're not done yet, so we're gonna have to wait. Well, uh, we may as well get our machines doing other stuff, so let's see. More quartz, I would like that. Um, let's process some more rubber. And yes, let's process even more iron. What about the fuel, actually? Let's pump in some fuel in there. Uh, and you know what? The furnaces can sit around. That's fine. Okay. Let's head out. Now, before we go into the breach this time, though, I just want to drop by... Uh, by the stairs. And see if we can sell a few things that we don't want. Checking to see if we can actually sell the, um, the lamp, because we just got rid of the lamp that we had initially to the museum, and now we already have another one, and I'm guessing this is going to be a continuous problem if we do a lot of exploring in the breach. Uh, the condenser is a resource, so I don't want to get rid of that, but yeah, we can definitely get rid of this techno lamp, which is nice. Yes, uh, we'll get rid of this as well, that as well, uh, the peacock feather brooch, um, the waste bag, yep, as it's not as good as what we've already got, so, and everything else I think we can keep, so, let's do this, let's visit the breach once more, and I'm crossing my fingers to be able to find Grace's stuff. Uh, does it make a difference if we go into, like, some of the lower tier levels? I don't think it does. 
and I think everything's just going to be randomized. We just need to get lucky. So why not? Let's go. Oh, uh, using our fists is probably not advisable. Uh, in fact, I'm going to just switch out to a different weapon because we've had this bronze greatsword for a while and, uh, you know, I have been using the, uh, the other weapons for quite a bit now, but I do want to return to the greatsword and this being a more powerful weapon, we should be able to deal with these enemies a lot quicker now. I'm not entirely sure if that did damage to us, actually. I wasn't paying attention. It could've. Gonna see if we can do a little bit better with our HP this time around. Yeah, only problem is this greatsword business is definitely a lot slower than any other type of weapon. Hang on, what's going on here? Okay, gotta boost our way up. Boost? No. It's sort of a platforming thing here. Oh no. Not looking good, guys. I think we might fail this one. We've still got three enemies. Oh, uh, maybe? Oh, that was close. Just four seconds to go. Alright, just backtracking a tiny bit guys, because there was a, uh, a chest over there. So definitely want to try and get to that. Anything up here? Okay, that was super close. <laughs> um, I thought we took some damage before, but not too much, which is good. Uh, definitely did a little bit better.
Three more enemies. Still one minute though. Plenty of time. Easy. Okay, are we supposed to sh like search any of these areas? So I know in the other hazardous ruins, we always have to sort of search for, you know, junk piles and stuff like that, or search through junk piles to find stuff. Okay, very good. Uh, you know what guys, I've just realized but uh, we still haven't spent a lot of our skill points. I should actually do that. So once we go out, I'll look into spending uh, some of these skill points. Are waste, wasting a lot of our bullets. Very nice. Okay, that was kind of an easy S rank. <laughs> um, since we've got all the time in the world now, I'm just going to look around. Again, I'm not confident about how we're supposed to find some of this stuff for Grace. Hmm. Yep. Again, still no, like, I think they're posters or something, or records, maybe? Uh, anyway, let's exit out. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find out uh, if there is a specific way this mission needs to be done uh, and I'll do that off camera. For all I know though it could simply be just repeating going into the breach multiple times. But anyway it is getting a little bit late. I'm gonna hit a few more things, gather up some more materials, uh, Definitely going to get rid of that bus, and yeah, we're going to have to sort of decide what to do next. Um, these lenses, I think we should be able to construct, and maybe even hand over to Chi by the end of the day. Um, so what I'm going to do is just get rid of the bus frame, and I think Chi's place is going to close at 10, so we might be able to make it if we do things pretty quickly.
All right, uh, let's not worry about some of the other salvage there. Farm is looking good there. Might need to check that out in a moment. Well, let's prioritize these lenses though. So a quick build that and what's the other commission? Oh, actually, maybe we don't have another commission. All good. Let's turn this into Chi right away. There's for the Olympia? a couple of things here, uh, or a couple of smaller icons with the chat icon, so I'm not entirely sure what that it's means. Good to see you again. Let's take a look. Birthday celebrations I find to be rather droll. The only thing I enjoy ab about mine is the symmetry of the number, the 111, or if you prefer, the 11th of spring. Okay, cool. You still looking for the Olympia? Uh... It is of the utmost necessity that I acquire a data disk for research purposes. It's good yes, to see you again. that'll do. <laughs> Please bring it to me. Okay. Well, I've got data disks. You still looking for the Olympia? Uh. Can I just give him one? Because I don't want to give him a stack of 43, that's I've been for sure. Traveling around. Uh, let, let's not do that, because. I don't want to lose all of my discs. Every person in Sandrock has their own unique likes and dislikes, so that's probably for the gifting mechanic, but anyway, let's Thank turn you. that in and make it's a bit of money. Again. Maybe we can probably check more commissions before we go to bed. Uh, I can't remember how many we've already picked up today. I think we should still be able to pick up one more commission. Okay, so bloodstone saws seems pretty easy to do, so let's take that. Uh, I didn't really check on the quality actually. Um, perhaps maybe I should have done that first. Outstanding, yeah, easy. So. Um, we've got a couple of days to do that. I don't think it's going to be too hard to do, though. But before we go to sleep, I just want to check up on the farm and see if we can harvest some of this stuff. And uh, then we'll call it a night. More sand rice. Okay. Uh, I suppose we should plant other things in there because if we don't, I believe, you know, this soil or the arid soil will regress. So I'm just trying to think of what we can put in there. Maybe we can start growing. Uh, the stuff that Burgess wants us to grow, so more of these mountain rows. Oh yes, we need the, the straw squares first. It's really hard to get used to the mechanics of farming. I don't find it to be the most intuitive. Okay, now we should be able to grow. Okay, 
looks good. So let's exit out of the growing mechanic. Let's put all of that stuff away. We'll sort everything. And yeah, we'll manually sort a few additional things here. So that can go. Condenser can go. Another techno lamp. Gonna need to try and sell that. Okay, looks good. Uh, it is 11.30. Just trying to think of whether or not I want to get our machines to continue to do stuff before we go to sleep. Um, maybe. We are running low on stones though. Perhaps maybe I should um, hit a few normal rocks around the area. Just to load up on a few more stones. Uh, and can we maybe make some more water? Yes, we can. Bloodstone saws. Yep, we only need four. We can easily make these right now. Let's do it. Alright, we'll turn in the commission when we wake up the next day. But I'm also thinking, guys, that we've probably been playing about an hour at this point as well, so uh, this is kind of a good place for us to call it an episode. We're gonna take a break, we'll come back, We'll continue with the commission. Uh, hopefully we get these two diagrams that we're waiting for from Chi, so we can then progress the story a little bit more, both for Cooper and also for the town. Righto guys, as usual, leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.